In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can create this simple comic style logo using Affinity Designer. And to follow along with what I'm doing here, you'll need to download and install this font that I used. It's called Comica Axis, and I will have it linked in the description of the video. So go ahead and download and install that, and we'll be good to get started. So I'm going to come over here and start a new document. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the halftone pattern that you see in the background here. And to do that, we're going to use a brush in the pixel persona. So let's come over here to the top left of the screen and click on the pixel persona. And then I will come over here to the layers menu. And in the bottom right corner, I'm going to click this icon right here that says add pixel layer when you hover your cursor over it. And I'll click on that. And now we have a pixel layer to add our brush strokes onto. And now I'll come over here to the brushes tab. From this drop down right here, I'm looking for where it says textures. And then I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the list and I'm looking for this first halftone brush that you see right here. It's number 128. So I'm going to click on that to select it. And I'm going to grab my brushes tool, which is located over here. And now I'm going to make my brush larger by using the right bracket key. I want the brush to be pretty large. This is the size of the brush is going to represent the size of the halftone. So make sure to size it accordingly. You can use your left and right bracket keys to increase and decrease the size. And once you do that, just tap in a, or click and swipe a little bit to the left and the right to add a brush stroke there. And just like that, we now have our little halftone circle. So let's come back over here into the designer persona. Now we're going to create the little speech bubble that you see there in the background. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to my shapes tool. I'm going to hold a click over this to get this menu to pop out. And I'm looking for this one down here that says call out ellipse tool. And now I'm just going to click and drag to create that call out ellipse. I'm going to hold shift while clicking and dragging. And now we have that shape like that. And I'm going to resize this a little bit. This is just personal preference. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm going to make the, uh, the point there a little smaller by clicking and dragging this node right here. And then I'm going to go to my selection tool and I'm going to bring my cursor. I'm going to hover. Actually, let me move this over so you can see it better. I'm going to hover my cursor right outside the right edge here so we get the shearing handle. And once I do that, I'm just going to click and drag up. Let me try that again. There we go. I'm going to click and drag up just to shear that a little bit. Let me turn off my snapping. That's just going to get in the way. And then I'm going to change the color of this to black. So let me make this black. And let me make this a little smaller. I'm just going to resize this according to the, uh, the halftone there. I don't want it too big or too small. I want to be able to see some of those halftones coming out of the back. Maybe I'll make this a little smaller. And now I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to come over here to the Layers menu. I'm going to right-click this and go to Duplicate. And now I will, I will make this duplicate copy a different color, maybe something like pink. You can use whatever color you'd want. For a comic style logo, I would, I would rep recommend something vibrant. I'm going with this shade of pink here. And now I'm going to scale this down a little bit. So it has like a little bit of an offset. And I'm going to move it over a little bit just so it looks a little, it looks a little uneven and wonky going around the edges. It really, that, I think that does a good job of accentuating the comic sort of style. Okay, so now that that's in place, now it's time to create this text that you see here. So let's come back over here and I'm going to grab my text tool, which is over here. You can also access it with the letter T on the keyboard. And I will click on my canvas. I'm going to click and drag to make the text about that size right there. And I'm going to write for this example. I'm just going to write boom with an exclamation point. I'm going to highlight the text, click on it three times to highlight it. And I'm going to come up here to my font menu and I'm going to choose Comica Axis. To, to find it, I'm just going to write K. O, and there it is right there. And now let me make this text white. And let me come over here to the quick effects menu. And I'm going to come over here to where it says outline. And I'm going to tick that box to add an outline. And we want a black outline. It should be black by default. But if it's not black, just click on that and change it to black. And now I'm going to increase the radius so that we have an outline going around that text like that. And now I'm going to shear this up a little bit as well, just to give it some character. And now we want to give it like this extrude sort of effect where it looks like it's almost like 3D. So to do that, let me take the text. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see it better. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt, or if you're using Mac, it would be Option. And I'm going to click and drag up and to the right ever so slightly to create a duplicate copy. And once you do that, start pressing Control J or Command J if you're on Mac to create more copies of that to repeat what you just did right there. 
And just like that, we now have those extra copies there. So, and it, and it kind of looks like an extruded outline. So now I'm just going to click and drag over all of that. And I want to group it together by pressing Command G or Control G if you're on Windows. And I'm going to move this over the center of the speech bubble here. And I'm going to make this larger. Make sure to hold your Shift key while you're scaling so that it uh, preserves the aspect ratio. Let me just size that up accordingly. And when you resize an object with these effects applied with that outline, it may resize the outline. So if you need to fix that, just ungroup it by pressing Control Shift G or Command Shift G if you're on Mac. And then come back over here to the quick effects and you should be able to increase the size of it if need be or decrease it, whatever, uh, whatever works best for your design. And at this point, we're done. That is how you can go about creating a very simple comic style logo using Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.